Oh, what up, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video. In today's video, as y'all seen by the title, I'm about to tell y'all three ways to keep a conversation going with your crush or your or baddie you met or anything. You feel me? I'm not gonna waste no time. Make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notifications, follow me on the gram. Let's get straight to it. All right, boom. So number one, the first tip on the list, bro, to keep a girl like interested during the messages and like not let it be so boring. If my nigga don't test her when you ain't got no reason to test her. Don't be one of them niggas that you be like, hey, what you doing? Nothing. Oh, that's cool. This down the third, because that's going to make her lose interest, and that's going to start making her text you back late, because she know you don't really want shit. You just testing her to text her. Unless you texting her and be like, hey, you trying to go to so-and-so? You trying to go to the movies with me? Or, hey, you trying to pull up to my house? Or you going to let me pull up to your crib? Something like that. She know you testing her for a reason. You not just one of them niggas that be like, what you doing every 20 minutes? You probably like, what's wrong with saying what you doing every 20 minutes? Nigga, if you tell this girl what you doing every 20 minutes, and you ain't talking about nothing else, bruh, you know what it make you look like? Like, you just bored as hell just trying to talk. Because you ain't even trying to get to nothing. She's going to be like, okay. She's going to eventually be like, I know him, I want nothing. So, I'm not going to rush back to test him quick. Unless, like, unlike another nigga and, like, a nigga that tests her with a purpose. She's going to be like, okay, I need to test him back quick. Because I know he wants something. Or I know he's trying to set up something or link with me. You feel me? Unlike a nigga that just be like, what you doing every 20 minutes? She's going to be like, man, I'll test that nigga back later. Because I know he don't want shit. He just bored as hell just texting me so i'm gonna be real bro i'm the type of nigga bro i do not text the girl unless i'm trying to like set up a link i'm trying to call her i'm trying to like pull up to her house like i'm trying to go somewhere with her or something like that because it ain't no point like let me ask you this bro if somebody just text you every two to three fucking hours and be like hey what you doing oh dang for real that's what's up who the fuck gonna text you back? Nobody gonna wanna text you back because you uninterested. Nobody wanna hear that, you feel me? Unlike you texting her and you trying to link or do something. So make sure, tip number one, bro, is when you texting her, bro, make sure that you got a purpose behind it. Tip number two, bro, is don't force the convo. Don't be interviewing her ass. Like, you ask her a question, oh, uh, how old you is? Oh, I'm 17. Oh, where you from? 18. I mean, I'm from uh, Alabama, from Georgia. You feel me? It's like, bro, what? You feel me? Like, she one word in the fuck at you. She not asking you nothing back. She just dry testing you. Don't force the conversation. You're like, okay, what do I do then? You just let that be a go, bro. You can't force her to want to text you. It just make you come off desperate as hell when you blowing her phone up, asking her all these questions like your ass paparazzi and she a celebrity or some shit. Ask her a few questions and, and just try to get to know her. And if she try to get to know you back, then cool, y'all having a conversation. But it should not feel like you interviewing her or you a goddamn teacher asking your student questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it should come off genuine and it should come off like y'all vibing together and not like a goddamn paparazzi and a celebrity. Like, oh, let me ask you this. Let me, bro, you don't got to ask her 30, 40, 50 questions, bro. If she wanted to have a conversation with you, bro, I promise you can make conversation, bro. I'm not saying that be dry as hell, but I'm saying this, bro. Don't force the hell out of the conversation because I bet you're going to end up in one of them group chats and they're going to be like, girl, this nigga blowing my phone up and I'm barely responding to him. Then you looking goofy. So, you know what I'm saying? Do not force the conversation. Don't don't call her three, four times. Don't try to ask her questions after questions, bro. You could tell. It's one of them things you can just tell. I can't really describe it. You could tell if she's feeling you or you could tell if she's not. If you feeling like she ain't, she not feeling you, bro, don't try to force her to feel you. Because if you try to force her to feel you, bro, you come off desperate. And we're not desperate around here, bro. There's too many girls in this world to be in your feelings by a girl. Hey, bro, another thing, bro, tip number three is, bro, be, be a little juicy, you feel me? Like, talk about something sometimes, throw in a little flirt there, flirt there, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying, bro, you don't want to just be no complete lame nigga. Like, I'm not saying be a, just test her and be like, hey, let me fuck you from the back, nigga. Hell no, nah, don't do that. But I'm saying, like, every once in a while, throw in some little, some little smooth shit in there. Because if you don't, bro, she's going to be like... This nigga boring as hell. You feel me? And that's really majority of relationships why people get in them is because they don't want to be bored and they trying to turn up or, in, or enjoy themselves with somebody else. They trying to get somebody to entertain them. But if you just a boring ass dude that don't ever want to do nothing, that don't ever be lit, that don't never talk about nothing or nothing, you feel me? They not going to rock with you. So don't be too boring. You feel me? Like, I'm not saying just be doing stupid shit like, hey, come here, let me lick you. Let me do Nah, bro, that's just, you look weird, you look perverted, I'm not gonna lie to you, you feel me? But at the same time, you gotta know when and when not to to throw in little, little smart stuff, you feel me? Like, flirt a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying blow that shit over proportion, no. But I'm saying every once in a while, it's cool to flirt a little bit, because if you don't, she gonna look at your ass like a friend. I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. If you don't flirt with the girl, bro, or you don't tell her, oh, I like you, or this, that, and the third, my nigga, they gonna French on the fuck out you. I'm gonna keep it so 100. If you don't tell a girl... If, especially if you went up and you spoke to her first. If you don't tell a girl, hey, I'm trying to be your boyfriend, this and the third, she's going to put you in a friend spot. No matter how cute she think you is, none of that. She's just going to put you in a friend spot because girls hate getting rejected. You feel me? So they're not going to ask you first to fuck with them. You feel me? So they're expecting you to ask them to fuck with you. You feel me? But if you ain't showing no signals like you ain't never flirting with them, they're going to think, 
Hmm, he just look at me like a friend. You feel me? But whole time, you just nervous as hell and you don't want to make her uncomfortable. But every once in a while, bro, it ain't nothing wrong with flirting. Just don't overdo your part. You feel me? Yeah, man, but that's really all I got for y'all today. This is just a little quick video to put y'all on free game. Make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notice. Have a positive day and I'm out.